House of the Dragon Episode 7 from Season 2 features Eamon Targaryen pursuing Silverwing, but Vhagar is ordered to back off just in time to prevent a confrontation. It's out of character for the dragon and rider, who have proved they're willing to kill to achieve their, respectively, and they appear to have gained the courage to face Vhagar. As if on cue, Eamon flees from the danger waiting on Dragonstone after pursuing Silverwing and Ulf, who unexpectedly show up in King's Landing. Eamon realizes even Vhagar can't beat that many dragons. Houseily overwhelmed. This is a task that Eamon may have attempted in certain situations. An example of a fight they would be interested in is Vhagar taking on Silverwing and Syrax. As the second largest and one of the fiercest dragons, Vermithor, however, completely alters the dynamic. It would be stupid for Vhagar to take on the Bronze Fury and Silverwing, even though their superior war experience would give them the advantage in a one-on-one -on -one confrontation. Vhagar would be defeated even if she managed to bring along a few of Sea Smoke and Syrax. Eamon sees through Rhaenyra's trap, which is reminiscent of his own schemes with Kristen Cole during the Battle of Rook's Rest, and he knows what's going on. Even if they are excite. Running away ensures that he and Vhagar will be able to battle another day. Rhaenyra's attempted trap for Eamon was a risky move. It is a daring and exceedingly dangerous move for Ulf to take Silverwing to King's Landing and try to provoke a confrontation between Eamon and Vhagar on Dragonstone. Firstly, it's a brilliant power play that proves not even Eamon and Vhagar can handle the entire might of their dragons which, without Caraxes, this doesn't even come close to capturing. However, there are a few drawbacks to consider as well. Even though Silverwing is smaller and faster than Vhagar and has a lot of experience, there was no guarantee that they would return, especially because Ulf is a rookie dragon rider. This also means they're revealing their hand to the enemy, which is a missed opportunity to attack King's Landing, while still maintaining the element of surprise. Though it may be risky, eliminating Vhagar would be the ultimate prize, therefore seizing the opportunity should not be passed up. How many dragons the Blacks have now? After the seventh episode of season two, Rhaenyra appears to have struck a tritch as she has gathered an impressive army of dragon riders. The Blacks have a number of dragons, but the Greens only have Vhagar due to Egan and Sunfire's recoveries. They already possess the unimpressive and inexperienced Syrax from Rhaenyra, the Vermax and the Moondancer from Bela. Despite being renegade for most of season two, Demon and Caraxes are still on their side, and his story suggests he'll be back to them shortly. The Blacks now have seven dragons at their disposal for battle, compared to the Greens one, thanks to the arrival of three new dragon riders. Adam on Sea Smoke, Hugh on Vermithor, and Ulf on Silverwing. The day is probably not far off when Rhaenyra will launch her assault on King's Landing, even though Vhagar is the largest dragon in the realm. Her army is too strong for Vhagar to handle on its own.